Hello, my name is Jimmy from e 2 Media Production and today I'm here to discuss about the five different ways through which you can market your music. Music as an industry itself, it is about 80% business and 20% only music. Being talented is not enough for you to succeed. So you need to find ways of succeeding and this is through marketing. By so doing, you'll be turning your good songs, which you have done as an artist, into hits. And once we make the hits, we can be able to get the shows such that we can generate the money out of them. Marketing is an activity of promoting and selling a good and a product. The music which we are having is our product or our service. So we have to find a way of promoting it and selling it out to the people so that we can be able to generate money out of it. Let's look at the five different ways through which we can market our music to the public. The first method which we can use to market our music is through creating connections. Connections are very, very important in marketing, most especially in music. When I talk about connections, I mean you getting connected to DJs, media personalities, music producers, songwriters, those big stakeholders in the music industry. You have to make sure that you get in touch with them, get their connection, because it is those people who make you an artist you want to be. They are the people who will be pushing out your music. For example, if you have a big connection with radio presenters, TV presenters and music DJs, these are the people who are going to include your song or your music in a playlist. So you have to make sure that you connect or you make a connection with them. You create that kind of bondage because in most cases when they are in the studio playing music, it is only someone they have on their mind whom they will push their music because remember they are having a million songs to play so to just select out your music even if it is not yet a hit it will require that kind of connection and also when i talk about connection another thing you have to put into consideration is to get emails of people to get contacts of people so that you can send them emails when you're having for example a new release you can send them a message you can send them a whatsapp message such that they are always informed about your new product like i told you at the beginning that marketing is all about promoting and selling a product so if you want to promote your product you have to make sure that it reaches out to the people so you have to get as much connections as you can the second method we can use for marketing our music is through social media platforms there is a saying which says that you cannot buy an audience you can only create one so in marketing an audience is very very important and these social media platforms are one of the most and the cheapest method you can use to create an audience however you need to understand the algorithm of each social media platform and you need to understand the target audience of each social media platforms for example you look at twitter for it it will target audience is corporate companies facebook instagram youtube all of them they have got different target audiences and also you need to look at the kind of message which you're going to be passing out so if you want to make your music to go viral then you have to look at the platforms which are so much into pushing out the message to go viral and this include tiktok facebook reels we have got instagram reels and youtube shops these platforms they are working so much into making the content to go viral so if you're having any new release and you have not yet put it out into the audience the first thing you need to do is to create a very sh short video and you post it on tiktok post it on facebook reel post it on instagram reels and also youtube shots such that they are pushed out into the public they go viral and this will sensitize the public that something new is coming out and if you want to maybe generate some leads then you can go to things like facebook you run an advert on facebook you generate the leads if you want to get the contacts of your fans you want to get their email addresses then you can use facebook adverts so that you can be able to generate them so 
understand the algorithm of your social media platform, understand the target audience of that social media platform so that you can use it effectively to market your music. Okay, now the third method which we can use to market our uh, music is through social responsibility activities. What do I mean? Those activities which you do to give back to the community. As you know that marketing is all about creating a bond with your fans so that you can get an opportunity to promote your product. Uh, these social responsibility activities may include uh, helping the needy, attending fundraising activities, attending church services. You go out to the people. you always with the people. This will show that you're part of them. And that means when a time comes for you to bring your music to them, they will already be having an attachment. Look at an artist who is having an NGO. This kind of artist is going deep into the village, helping the needy, helping those people who may be having some life challenges. These kind of people go on to talk about the name of the artist and by so doing, his brand or his name will be reaching out deep into the village. We are not saying that you use it as an advantage to market. You have to do it coming from your heart. Don't just do it that I want to. Let me use it to get a benefit out of it. But do it responsibly. Do it from the bottom of your heart. But remember, it is also another way which is making you to market your name. Because all people will be interested in associating with someone who is giving back to them. Yes, now let's look at another method. The fourth method which you can use to market music. My dear friends, this one is very, very important. It is through creating fans club. You have to create a club of people. Team you, team you. If you're artist A, you create team artist A. These people, they are the ones who are going to make the noise on social media platforms. They are people who are going to pass on word of mouth to people that this our artist has released something new. So it is very, very important to create this team. Facilitate them. Make sure that your team is always informed about everything which you're going to be doing. Get them involved in all the activities which you're carrying out and make them feel loved. And if it is possible, this fans club, you can also be paying them some small money to facilitate them. We are living in the era of internet. These are the people who are going to make a lot of noise on the internet. They are going to be spreading your love. They are going to be reaching a person you cannot reach. They are going to go to the ghettos. They are going to go to the villages. These are the people who reach deep down into the villages. So it is very, very important to create this fans club. You can get it for different locations or different areas and also if it is possible you can create this fans club in universities you can create them in secondary schools such that these people the fans they grow up knowing your brand they grow up with you by so doing your music will just be becoming a hit the moment you release it like i told you it is not all about creating or recording a very good song a very good song is required, but you have to find means of turning it into a hit. And this hit is the one which will make the money. So use this fans club, facilitate them, give them all they require to promote your brand. Some of them, they can just be doing it out of love, but you try to give them some merchandise. For example, if you're having a fans club, make t-shirts for them, make caps for them, make armbands for them. You try to create that connection such that when they are moving out in the field they are representing your name and finally this one here it is not a way of marketing but it is important to facilitate the marketing process the most and most important thing is quality don't compromise on the quality if you know that you cannot compose good songs don't compromise quality. Look for a songwriter. If you find that the producer you have been using is not giving you the best quality, get another producer. If you find that the vocals, you're not good at singing vocals, but you can do the rapping or you can do the other part of singing, 
try to get backup artists but don't compromise on quality and it is not only on the audio but also the video which you're going to produce it has to be eye-catching if you don't have the budget to do something of quality it is better you don't do it and send it to the public because the public is going to judge you depending on this product which you have released to them so quality is very important produce quality audio produce quality video and also the graphics which you use to market these products make sure that they are quality look at the artwork which they are making for you look at the video make sure that you're a perfectionist consult as many people as possible before you release your music to the public and make sure that it is as of good quality as you are presenting yourself to the public so it is not a method of marketing but it is very important to facilitate the marketing process so the five things we have talked about the first four they are methods of marketing your music and the fifth one it is just helping you to facilitate this method of marketing with those five things into your mind i believe we are going to make more hits not only good songs but hits because it is hits which are going to make us money it is hits which are going to get us those streams online it is hits which are going to make our brand big and better i remain jimmy chisache from e 2 e media production and if you've liked this video please subscribe uh, you can share it to different people 